Hi, this is Dr. Tanner Melnick, physical therapist and running specialist here at MoveMed Rehab and Performance. And if you have thought about completing a metabolic fitness test and are curious as to what is involved and what it looks like, then this video is for you. I'm going to take you through the entire process from getting everything prepared for the test up to the completion of the test so you have a good understanding of what goes into a metabolic fitness test. Prior to arriving for the test, you will have received some medical history forms and a link to create a profile for the testing software, all of which should be filled out before so that we can have more time to complete the test once you arrive. After you arrive, we will head back to my room where we will have a quick chat and also get you fitted for the mask. We will have a discussion on your athletic history and your goals to get an understanding for why you are completing the test and it will also help me to give you better training recommendations after the completion of the test. After this, we will get you fitted for the mask to ensure a snug fit to make sure that no air escapes during the test. And this will help us get us the most accurate results to capture gas exchange before, during, and after the test. You will also put on a chest strap heart rate monitor to provide heart rate data during the test as well. And if you're a female, I'd recommend putting this under the sports bra and for a male, it just has to go kind of at the bottom of the ribs. All right, next we're gonna head outside and this is gonna allow us to calibrate the machine with ambient air before beginning the test. This is a quick process, just involves about 45 seconds where we're just gonna be standing outside waiting for the machine to calibrate and then we're gonna head back inside to actually begin the test. During the test, you'll be on the treadmill and there's gonna be a couple important things that you need to remember. So during the test, there's gonna be absolutely no talking. Obviously, you're able to breathe during the test, but we don't wanna kind of have any other artificial information in there. So there'll be no talking. And during this, I will refrain from asking you any questions that cannot be replied to with a simple thumbs up or thumbs down. The test will be completed in three distinct phases. The warm up, the test phase, and the recovery phase. For the running test, the treadmill will be set up in the warm up phase, which will consist of a three minute walking warm up. After the walking warm up is complete, the next phase will start at four mile per hour with a 2% incline. Every minute, the speed will be increased by myself at 0.8 miles per hour, so you can just focus on the running. The stopping point of the test is self-determined in that when you feel you have reached max exertion, you end the test by either hitting the stop button on the treadmill, which will initiate a slowdown in the treadmill coming to a complete stop, or you can hold onto the handrail and jump onto the tracks on either side of the tread and then hit the stop button until it comes to a complete stop. Finally, after the recovery phase is over, the test will be considered complete and the mask will be carefully removed. At this point, you'll be free to grab a drink, some fresh air, a towel, whatever you need to do prior to us going over an initial review of the data. After the test, we will have time for a quick debrief on some of the initial data with some recommendations for your training based on the results of the test with a more detailed report to follow after the session once we've had time to really comb through all the information. I hope this video was helpful to give you an idea of what to expect during a metabolic fitness test. If you are interested in scheduling a test or have more questions, Please click the link below for more information and as always, happy running.